The second half of first year of pharmacy school was horrendous. Not to scare you off, it's very rewarding and yes it was a lot of work but um, I managed to get through it without having to repeat any classes and things like that. My GPA is intact. Um, there's a lot of things going on with clubs and you know I work my job at an MTM call center and that was crazy as well. All in all the first year of pharmacy school is finally over and I am a stronger person academically for it physically for it, mentally for it, and it was a pretty cool experience, so. It's so bad I have notes. Okay, hold on. So, let's start with the classes. So, for third block, which is split up into third block and fourth block, I couldn't even record a video for third block alone because there was just no time. There's just so much going on. But the first, or the third block, which is when we come back from winter break, we had skills lab which we have throughout the whole year so that's where all the practical stuff comes in how to transfer and how to patient interaction and blah 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 um we also did immunization certification and stuff in that class that's another thing um then we had patho 2 which is anatomy on steroids then we had medicinal chemistry 2 which last block it was more or in second block that was more organic chemistry on steroids this time it was a lot more graphs and figuring things out and how to read things um, and we also had drug therapy individualization which is like physics on steroids but like of the body and there were formulas and it was just bad um, then cut and you have spring break that was something in itself um, I went to Haiti on a mission, medical mission trip with the College of Pharmacy, the College of Dentistry, the College of Medicine, and all that. Um, then we get back to pharmacy school after the week of spring break, and drug therapy individualization is still going on, whereas all the other third block classes have ended and we had the finals. Drug therapy individualization still is continuing, and that class was... It was the worst class for me, just horrible. Um, then we also had this class called Evidence-Based Practice, which is basically how to read those 20 page long scientific journal article research study things. And it was really involved. There were like, I'm not even kidding when I say there must have been 60 lectures that are like an hour long each. Systems based. Um, that block, that class really could have been in first block. I, eh, yeah. And pharmacy law. I did not go to school to become a lawyer, so that class was just long and boring for me. We also were taking patient care one, which is a three hour class, and it was really dense on over-the-counter medications um so it was the first real bit of actual like practical uh, not practical but real pharmacy medications that we got a uh, hold of um so it would it really helped us on our rotations um, but patient care one was it was a different experience a three-hour class and we had to basically have like three chapters of a book read and done and memorized um lots of medications and when their when their onset is, what their duration is, what the ingredient is, and all that type of stuff. So it was really intense, like pharmacy based. So it was pretty cool then, and helped a lot with rotations and helping patients with over the counter meds. But um, and during that fourth block, we also had a white coat ceremony, which we got our white coats, and I'll show you some pictures of that. If the first and second block were how they were, you can only imagine how dense and intense these classes were in their small period of time but to make matters worse in fourth block there was a period of maybe three weeks when it was normal we had classes you no know, normal exams whatever but from that point on we had an exam every single Wednesday of that block ending in finals week which I called hell week because we had finals for some of the classes from third block, but we also had the PACOA exam, um, which is some national pharmacy test.
test also had the top 200 exam which not only was the second half of the top 200 that we needed to know um, but the first half also so literally the top 200 exam so after the top 200 exam with literally all 200 jugs which also help with the top with the um, our rotations um, we had our calculations exam the calculations exam went all the way back to um, calculations and things that we learned from like compounding and things all the way back from black block to the class um, drug delivery systems um, after the calculations exam we had our problem-solving exam which it was like a really long soap note that was very involved in it it's a little more complicated than it sounds but yeah um, it also led up to our immunization course which we had to sit for like five hours in a room and listen to PowerPoint about all the immunizations and the diseases that we help and how to administer them and blah 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 which helped with our certification or whatever but you know something else we had to sit through during that hell week and that all led up to the OSCEs. I don't remember what it stands for but um it's basically like a simulation of a pharmacist going into a patient's room like there were literally actors there pretending to be patients or pretending to be a physician and there were kind of things like scenarios like that that we had to go through and we were graded off of that um and that was like the last thing but for me I, after that week, I had to jump right into my first rotation ever, the CIPPE, Community something, IPPE, <laughs> Community something Practice Pharmacy Experience. Well, I went for three weeks, I learned how to use the computer system, I counseled patients on the meds counsel the patients on a lot about their OTC meds like they'd come up to the pharmacy and ask what I use for this my skin rash or my daughter has lice and I'd go out there and help them and that was pretty cool um, I learned how to fill prescriptions uh, learn how to do inventory I learned that there are a lot of drugs out there besides the top 200 um, so that was cool also during this block I shadowed some pharmacists I shadowed an oncology pharmacist and even an ambulatory care pharmacist and I'm supposed to do more of that in the summer too also through all this I think I figured out that uh, I've changed which path I want to go through to with pharmacy um, I'm kind of leaning towards oncology now but we'll see if that sticks <laughs> the second half of pharmacy school was crazy um, that's my UF experience, so good luck with your own pharmacy school experience.